Lights, camera, action! Think I may have a meeting today? I'm hoping I'm praying that I do not. Waiting on this infernal computer to update. This is only slightly annoying because last night, at the end of the workday, I turned off, my, well, I restarted my computer so that it could update then, but I guess additional updates take place uh, once you reboot it next time you cut it on, so. Anyway, as I said, I hope we don't have a meeting today. Ah, uh, here we go. Now I'm just having problems connecting to the internet, which I don't understand because I'm not I'm not using my personal laptop for this. I gotta figure this shit out. All right, cool. So the meeting that I thought was gonna be today is actually next week, and I finally got connected to the internet on my work computer. So now I'm working. Yo, the way work is kicking my ass today, <laughs> I'm definitely keeping this one short. So I really just want to talk about my definition of success as a screenwriter in the film industry, whatever. Of course, I would love to be up there with like the Jordan Peels, the Aaron Sorkins, the Quentin Tarantinos, <laughs> all of these talented screenwriters and filmmakers, you know, who have all the clout in the world. They're considered A-listers. They get final cut on their films. <laughs> I would love it. I would love it, right? But I would also love to, say, write a sequel to Lava Lantula. <laughs> to, to write the next uh, Sharknado. To work for the Asylum. That'd be, that'd be insane. Because I love screenwriting. I love storytelling and I love movies. And even if I were just, you know, writing like super low budget cheapies and yet still like making the same money I am now and I gotta make the same I at least gotta make the same money that I'm making now because there's no going back <laughs> there's no going back and I gotta be able to take care of myself but like that would be success for me doing what I love for a living don't get it twisted you know my day job is it's cool it's you know it is what it is and I'm very thankful to have it but it's not what I want to do and I really do hate that I have to get up and essentially sell eight hours of my day to this company and not work on what I would love to work on, not work on my own projects, not just not working on what I would want to work on. It's like a third of my life presently, a third of my life I'm selling to someone else so that they can live out their dreams, achieve, so that they can feel successful. You know, I'm saying this out loud. I'm saying this to y'all, <laughs> whoever's watching, and I'm saying this to the universe because I do believe that the universe listens, and uh, I I've said it before, right? Words are spells, and so I'm just saying this out loud, like, I want to write movies for a living. That's what I want to do with my life as soon as I can. You know, I think about that Billy Crystal line in When Harry Met Sally, just to kind of appropriate that. When you know what you want to do for the rest of your life, you want the rest of your life to begin as soon as possible. It's like, I am ready. That's another thing people say. Be careful Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. <laughs> and when you get it, you better be ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, all right. That was quick, short. Let me get back to work. Uh, uh. <laughs> mm <laughs>